Welcome to Horde Space, the middle of nowhere on the edge of space. Home to bands of miscreants and delinquents of all shapes and sizes. Devil's Gambit is a home away from home for all of us space punks. Ignore the grime, the uh, cleaners only come once a month. So, you want to be a space punk too, huh? Well, out here we only accept the best of the best, the cream of the crop. And by that we mean anyone crazy enough to make it out here. Great in a fight though, and they all have their own unique abilities. So whether it's stunning your enemies, setting up defensive turrets, or just blowing them to pieces, there's always something to suit your stun. And teaming up with allies just gives them that extra bite, empowering some abilities, allowing for strategic gameplay. Or just put all your abilities in the same place and watch the explosions. <laughs> Both seem to work out fine. Every space punk needs its partner in crime, that's space lingo for really big gun. There's the pointer for the calculated type, the bullet spewer for those who like to get up close and personal. And if you're not really feeling up to aiming, pick up a mini and just hold down the trigger. <laughs> It'll probably work out. My personal favorite is the TZT, illegal pretty much anywhere with laws, but <laughs> out here who's gonna stop you? And if running and gunning isn't your cup of space brew, there's always the option of a good old fashioned melee. The feeling of smashing up robots with a giant hammer just never gets old. The vault is your personal armory. Each piece of gear has a power level, and the higher the number, the stronger you become. Big numbers equal big damage. Easy enough to understand, right? New gear can drop from enemies, or from completing missions. Gear can be a range of different rarities with different modifiers, so every piece of gear can be better than the last. And if it serves no purpose, you can always scrap it down for raw materials. Here in Sunny Horde space, there's plenty of perilous loot-filled planets just waiting to plunder. I mean, waiting to be explored. The good folks of Devil's Gambit are always looking for someone with your skills and moral flexibility to do their dirty work down on the surface. Just watch out for the locals. They can't appreciate a hard worker these days. Whether it's Tooth Claw or Buzzsaw, they have their tricks to slow you down. And honestly, whoever keeps setting up all these traps needs to learn some responsibility. These things can be dangerous but a good space punk uses the environment to their advantage. Just be careful not to blow yourself up too. Completing missions will reward you with experience and loot. Level up to unlock talent points, which will get you new abilities or augment your existing abilities with new effects. There's a lot of choice here, but don't be overwhelmed. There's no wrong choice when it comes to blowing stuff up. You'll also build up your fame for completing missions. No point in risking your life if no one knows about it. More fame, more free stuff, and more access to additional facilities on Devil's Gambit. Take the Craft On 20,000, for example. Use all those blueprints and components you picked up on the surface to create personalized gear. Add that little bit of spice. And that's the 101 on life out here in Horde Space. So, gear up, grab your space buddies, and we'll see you on Devil's Gambit, Space Punk. <laughs>